This lecture is on singular value decomposition, or SVD. Singular value decomposition is a matrix technique that has some important uses in computer vision. These include solving a set of homogeneous linear equations, namely if we can form our equations in the form um, AX equals zero, where X is our vector of unknowns and A is a matrix of knowns, um, this is called a set of homogeneous linear equations. Um, the other use that we're going to look at is guaranteeing that the entries of a matrix um, estimated numerically satisfy some given constraints, for example, orthogonality. For example, if we've computed a matrix R and we now want to make sure it's a valid rotation matrix, uh, as we'll see, uh, we can use SVD to do that as well. Okay, what is SVD? Um, it is a decomposition of a matrix A, uh, any real M by N matrix. We can write as the product of three matrices, U times D times V transpose. So U and V are columns, are matrices that have columns that are mutually orthogonal unit vectors. Namely, if we take um, u transpose times u, we get the identity matrix, v transpose times v is the identity matrix. Or the dot product between any column uh, vector u and a column vector j um, gives us the Kronecker delta, namely it's 0 if i does not equal j and it's 1 if i equals j. The matrix D is diagonal and so its elements sigma sub i are called singular values and they're ordered in this uh, decreasing order like that. So sigma 1 is greater than or equal to sigma 2, greater than or equal to sigma n, and they're all positive or 0. So another way to draw that is, um, is in this form here. So here we see our U matrix. Here's the columns of U. Um, our diagonal matrix D, or sigma, I guess I showed it here, um, and our V matrix whose columns now I transpose so they're now rows. So if um, only the first R singular values, these sigmas, are positive, then matrix A is of rank R. And we can drop the last P minus R columns of U and V because they don't uh, contribute to the formation of A at all. Okay, so let's look at some important properties of SVD. So by definition, we have this relationship, A equals U, D, V transpose. If we multiply by V on the right side of each of this uh, equation, we get A times V equals U, D, and then V transpose V we saw was just the identity matrix. So uh, thinking of the uh, vector or matrix V as composed of a bunch of uh, column vectors, V sub J, we see that we apply A to each column vector V sub J, and we get a, um, a sigma J out of this uh, diagonal matrix D times the corresponding column vector out of U. So uh, an intuitive way to look at this is that matrix A takes any basis vector VJ and maps it to direction UJ with length sigma sub J. So we'll see later in the course that um, this is um, useful in some other applications. All right, some other properties. Um, okay, we just saw that A V J equals sigma U J. We can write A then in, for, in the form of, um, of these products of the vectors U J and V J. Imagine just multiplying each side by VJ transpose, um, and we get this result here. So the vectors UJ, the columns of U, are called the principal components of A. Some, and the, component, the values in V are really just the coefficients multiplying by the, um, the, the principal coefficients U to sum up to get the matrix A. Okay, sometimes we want to compute an approximation to A using fewer principal components. 
So if we can truncate the expansion, instead of using all P elements, we'll use uh, the first T, I guess T plus one elements, we'll get a good approximation to the original matrix A. So recall that the sigmas were sorted in descending order. So the first set of sigmas are larger than the remaining sigmas. So we're keeping the highest values of sigmas to form matrix A. And uh, we'll see this, uh, when I say best possible least squares expression for a matrix, uh, we're using this thing called a Frobenius norm, which is just the sum of the squares of all the elements of A. All right, another property. Um, let's take our SVD and multiply A times A transpose. So substituting in what A transpose is, we get this. Um, transpose of a product is just the product of the transposes. So this inner set here, V transpose V, just is identity. So we get U times some matrix, diagonal matrix lambda times U transpose, where the, the elements of this diagonal matrix lambda are just the squares of the sigmas here. Okay, so multiplying uh, u on each side of this, we get uh, this quantity, or uh, this matrix A, A transpose times each column vector u is some lambda j times that same column vector u. But that's just the definition of an eigenvalue eigenvector. So that means that these u's are the eigenvectors of the matrix A, A transpose, and the lambdas are the eigenvalues of that vector, of that matrix. We can do the same thing with um, forming the matrix A transpose A. So same sort of thing, we'll just uh, substitute in what the definition of SVD is. Now we get U transpose U in the inner part and that becomes identity. So the result is just V lambda V transpose. Um, similarly, we multiply V on the right on each side and we get this. And this again becomes a eigenvalue, eigenvector system where the V's now are the eigenvectors of A transpose A and the lambdas are the eigenvalues of A transpose A.